Howdy, this is Lemmy with Revzilla TV, here to talk to you today about LA Chopper's Handlebars for Harley. You should be considering an LA Chopper's Handlebar if you're riding a Harley. LA Chopper's makes a bar for just about every big twin and sports there on the road. You should also be considering them if you're experiencing hand pain or you want to move your hands to a more comfortable position. The other reason you should look into these is if you just want the cool look of a different set of handlebars. Installation on these is about a two out of three. It's not a basic job, but it's also not particularly difficult. So let's get right into the meat and potatoes of what you're looking at here. Now you're gonna notice we have some other products besides just handlebars here. I have the handlebars in my hands, but we also have a cable installation kit too, which we'll get to in just a moment, but that's also a product you should be thinking about if you're considering a set of bars. So LA Choppers is making bars right here in the USA, and they're charging a premium price for a super premium product. It seems on face value like this is gonna be a super pricey set of bars. However, once you consider some of the benefits that LA Choppers offers over some other bar makers, it really starts to seem like a really good value. So the first thing that I notice about these bars that you can't see, but I can feel right now, is how heavy they are. They make these things from some super thick wall tubing, which you can probably see here. These are going to be a long lasting set of bars for sure. Now, you'll notice they have bends and also miter cut sections for that cool right angle look. Now, one of the things I like that LA Choppers does with those is the welds. The welds are top notch, but you can see here, what they do is the areas where you can't see, you'll, you'll see the weld, but anywhere that's gonna be exposed, LA Choppers goes back and they grind and polish the weld so that it looks nice under the finish and it looks like it's just made from one piece of pipe. I think that's super nifty. You'll notice too on the end here, this section of the bar has the notch for fly-by wire models where appropriate. So if you're considering running a set of these bars on a touring bike, know that you can do it. However, if you're interested in running a set of these on a, on a bike that doesn't have fly-by wire, you can also use a plug kit that we offer to plug that up and make sure that you have equal length on both sides of your bars. One of the other things I really like about these is the knurling. These are super deep cut knurls and very sharp. So you know they're gonna bite into your aluminum risers and you're not gonna worry about them rotating, especially with taller bars. Now, some of the other products they offer are wiring extension kits, which you don't see pictured here, and these cable extension kits. So when you are moving your hand controls anywhere up or down or in or out, you may need to change the length of your cables, especially if you're going taller on your bars. So their kits kind of ease that. In the old days, you used to have to run string and measure and custom order cables, and LA Choppers has sort of knocked that out of the park because you can just simply plug your bike into our bike finder and you'll get the cable kit and wiring kit that you need uh, to make the install kind of a painless snap. So one of the first things I liked when we opened up the box, doesn't necessarily come with every single one of them, but they use some big name manufacturers to produce some of their cables. They're available in a couple of finishes, black and uh, just simply a clear vinyl so you can see the stainless beneath. They also, like we said, that vinyl coating is super nice. Cheaper cables aren't vinyl coated, and what can happen is the stainless braid can act as an abrasive member on your paint, on your frame. It'll tear stuff up, so this vinyl coating protects those items. It's kind of an important step, especially if you spent big money on your paint. You'll see on the brake cables, everything is chrome plated, and you'll notice too that they use chrome plated, even hardware, to keep everything looking nice. You don't have brass or some weirdo fitting like the factory uses, it doesn't look very good and will eventually corrode over time. I also am a big fan too of their chrome job they did on, for instance, this brake splitter for a dual disc front model. It's super heavily chromed, it's a really heavy, beefy piece, it's just really nicely made even down to the chromed banjo bolts they use. This is hardware, again, deeply chromed, and it looks nice, and it's a functional piece. The other thing I really like is that they include these copper ceiling washers. So these go between your banjo bolt and your caliper or your master cylinder, and they're an item that get reused often and shouldn't. It's definitely something you wanna replace every time, and because it's a safety item, they throw them in there because they want your brakes to work as best as they can. So those wiring extension kits we talked about before too, which you don't see here, make the wiring kind of a snap. You also have to extend, obviously, the wiring. And on some of the electrically uh, laden bikes, especially like your touring bikes, it sort of makes it a little less painful to have to deal with all that wiring. You can simply um, extend the wiring, oftentimes along the spine of the bike, and you can clip right in. You don't have to cut your factory harness, which can be a real benefit, especially for those of you who are not looking for a mega wiring project on a weekend. Now, moving into that is installation. 
So installation, like we said, is a two out of three. It's not particularly difficult, but it's also not particularly easy. You're gonna need to know how to bleed brakes. If you're swapping out brake cables, a brake bleed is gonna be in your future. If you're going to be changing your clutch cable, you should know how to adjust your clutch and replace and adjust your clutch cable. If that's not something you feel comfortable doing, you likely have a buddy who's done it before and doesn't feel too scared off by the job. So, don't just take my word for this stuff being awesome. Click below, see what some other riders have had to say. If you have questions beyond that, get a hold of us. CS at Revzilla.com is a good email address to get a gear geek, or you can always call us on the phone, 877-792-9455. We'll get you a geek live and in color. I'm Lemmy. I like LA Chopper stuff. I'm out of here.